What's up guys, so today I'm going to be doing some bat reviews with myself and Scoot right there chewing a bone. Okay, let's get into it. So the bats we have are the Dimarini Zola, um, the Cat 8, which can help me. So the first bat we have is the Dimarini Zola. It's a 30 drop 8. Right here. It's a pretty good bat. It's the bat I use in the games. Marucci. Pretty good grip. Um, 28 drop 10. Yep. Now we have the Cat 9 Marucci. And it's a 29 drop 10. Now we got the Louisville Slugger Meta. 20, 20 or 2021, I don't remember. But I like the grip on it, it's perfect. Yeah. Now we got the Louisville Slugger Solo Marucci. Got that gold pack grip. Now we got the black and yellow Demarini. The regular old Demarini. Yeah, I really like this bat. Future full say. Alright, let's get started. Alright, get this. Alright, let's start off with Cat 8. I mean, it is a loud bat, but it's okay if you don't mind it being that loud. It's pretty lightweight, but that's only because 28 drop 10. Yeah, it's a pretty good bat, but it is a one piece, so it probably will sting a little bit. It's also the vibration thingy. So, I mean, like, it's not the best bat, but it's not the worst bat either. It's got a little bit of pop to it. Cat 9 right here. This is the black one. Um, some Rochi. And let's see if I got my name on it. Avery Hall, number 44. But it's not my number anymore, sadly. But let's take some swings with it, see how it goes. Alright, it's not as loud as the um, Cat 8, but it's still pretty loud. This one has a little bit more pop in it. And yeah, the barrel's a tad bit bigger. But. bat if you're if you don't hit home runs but you don't, you're, you're not a contact hitter it's like for people that do it. Humongous barrel on it. It's just huge. It's not quite that loud, but it's still one piece, so it's a little bit louder. But this is a great bat if you're a power hitter. Power hitters 100%. And that's all I gotta say about this little slugger solo. The uh, little slugger meadow bat. This one's pretty cool. I like it. Use this in games. It is a two piece composite, I think. Especially for contact hitters like me, this was an amazing bat. It's Demarini, 28 drop 10. It's a pretty good bat. All the weight is on the in the barrel, not really the handle. It's so skinny. Unlike the Meadows and the Louisville Sluggers and stuff, and the Murchies, this bat's all weight is in the barrel. It's Demarini, and it's a two piece. So, get into it. I mean, it's pretty good for, like, 
like, I guess it's a good bat for contact hitters too. But it's also a really good bat for if you do if you can get on base very well. It's an overall good bat for that. But yeah, that one I hit off the end. Yeah, it's got a good handle. Yeah, overall I like it pretty good. All right, now time for the Zoa. The Marini Zoa. Love this bat. It's the bat I'm currently using right now. It's a 30 drop eight, which is pretty heavy. If you ask me, that's pretty heavy. All right. I hit pretty well with this. It's a two piece. And yeah, it's good. But overall best bet I've ever owned and yeah it's pretty I love it I love this bat I'm gonna put the bats in order from my favorite to least favorite real quick okay guys so I have them all in order from my favorite to my least favorite so first up with my favorite obviously you got the Demarini Zoa it's a great bat I love it so much my favorite bat then number two we got Meta I hit pretty well with this. It's definitely heavier than the Solo, but yeah. Now we got the regular Demarini. I will say something. The first one I got, I cracked it. So these things are not the most durable. But, er, so since I have it at number three, not number two is because it's not very durable. If you know what I mean by that. Then next we got the Cat 9. And yeah, it's an overall good bat. I love it. Pretty good. And now we got the Cat 8. If you make good contact with this, it goes pretty far. But yet again, it's also a one piece. So it kind of stings if you don't hit it on the sweet spot. And the sweet spot is not very big on it. And last, we got the Solo. It's it's an okay bat. I would not recommend to always rely on this bat. But, yeah. Well, guys, that was my bat review. Um, hope you all enjoyed the video. And hopefully you consider subscribing. See you in the next one. Bye!